Hey, how you guys doing today? My name is Mr. Griffin. We're here at Griffin's Industrial Welding School. Today we're going to go out in here into the shop and I'm going to give you guys a quick lesson on how to set up your welding machine. So when we get out in, into the shop today, first I'm going to uh, explain how you guys need to, uh, what you would need to do to set up the welding machine to strike an arc. Okay, so if you guys want to follow me, we can go ahead and head to the shop. And now we're going to go over the setup of how you would set up the ESOP 235 welding machine if you're doing direct current electrode positive. Okay, so your ground wire, which is what we have right here, you always want to make sure this is connected to a clean area. Okay, this goes into your negative lead. You always want to put the ground connected to the negative lead. You see that minus. Your electrode holder, which is what we have here in the booth, you always want to connect that to your positive. Okay, so if you're doing direct current electrode positive, this should be in the positive, this should be in the negative, and this always has to be in a clean area. Okay, if it's not clean, it won't strike. Your electrode won't strike because you don't have a good ground. Okay. All right, whenever you're welding, whenever you put the electrode into the electrode holder, you always want to put this metal part into the electrode holder. You don't want to put it on the flux. This gray area is called flux. Okay, you want to put the metal part on there, otherwise it will not strike. So whenever you start doing stick welding, you want to have your left foot forward, right foot back, if you're right-handed, okay? Use this left hand as a guide. This left hand is going to go right under here to guide what you're doing, okay? Now, as far as the, the placement of the rod, normally if you're doing a flat, if you're in a flat position, if you're doing like a 1G groove, you normally either want your rod straight up and down or give it a slight angle. If you angle it too much, the bead will look nice, but it, you won't get the penetration that you need, okay? Which means you might pass a visual test, but you'll fail the bend test. So you always want to make sure you get nice penetration when you're running your bead. It should either be straight or give it a nice slight tilt. Okay, if you're left-handed, okay, you want to put your right foot forward, left foot back, use your right hand as the guide because you never want to go across your body. So you always, if, you're, if I'm left-handed, I want to weld from right to left. Whereas if I'm right-handed, I want to weld from left to right. That way I'm never crossing my body. All right, so that's just a preview of what you guys will get here at Griffin's Industrial Welding School. Remember, in as little as 12 weeks, you can start making money because hard work comes before success. So give us a call at 281-782-9713. Again, that's 281-782-9713. Contact Mr. Griffin for more information and we'll get you started today.